So before getting into the discussion, I just want you to introduce yourself first. Okay. My name's uh, Ian Davies. I'm the um, principal or the head of school at the Grodia International Centre for Learning in Mumbai. How can a principal practice the ideal instructional leadership? It's quite, well, it, it sounds simple, but it's not. The principal needs to be a role model. You cannot tell people what to do. You must be in the classroom promoting good practice and showing how it works. So what I mean by that is that principals need to be involved in learning. Just because you're a principal, it does not mean that you suddenly leave the classroom behind. So all of the research today suggests that good schools have leaders that involve themselves in instructional practice. So a good pr principal needs to be involved in setting the agenda for teachers. He needs or she needs to be involved in training teachers. That means that the principal, I believe, has to be up to date with their own knowledge and research about education. I, I've learned so much in the last 15 years um, simply by being with my students in the classroom, but also making the effort to be involved with how the students learn. It, it really excites me, um, but at the same time distresses me sometimes that there are, there are so many mythologies in education that I see still carrying on. I'll give you one, <clears throat> learning styles. There is this complete industry that surrounds the idea that learning styles are a good thing and that teachers and schools should give so much attention to finding out the learning style of every student. Unfortunately, all of the evidence, look at Hattie from Australia, um, look at some of the Harvard University professors, show that time spent on learning styles has no impact whatsoever on student learning or achievement. Okay, Thank you're you, welcome. Sir. Thank you.